Hello everyone, welcome back to the Easy Channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a data source, table, and analysis in the back end of Odoo using the data menu of the Easy Analytics dashboard. Let's open the Analytics module and click on Data, then Data Source. Here, you'll see all the data sources you have created before. You'll see the name you made and what type of data source it is. The data source seen from all of these is from Odoo itself. To create a new data source, click Create. Write the name for this data source and select its type. The only option in this case is the Odoo database. If you buy the connectors that EC provides, such as the data connector for MySQL or PostgreSQL, and many others that EC will provide in the future, you'll be able to select those as a data source. Here, I will select Database Odoo. The table filter here is to choose only selected fields that you want to show up, which I will show later on in this video. Click the Authenticate button to change the status of this data source from New to Ready. Click Get Source Tables to get your fields. You will notice the name of the field on the left and the table name. These fields are from the Odoo database. Now let's see what happens when you use the table filters. Write the table names you wish to pull for this data. Use commas to indicate a new table name. Then click Get Source Tables again. You will see all the tables that you filtered show up. Then click Save. Next, we're going to see how to create a table. Click on Data, then Table, then Create. Write the name of your table and choose the data source. Here I'll choose Odoo Database, which was the data source I created previously. There is an option called Is Stored, which you can pick if you want to periodically pull and store data from an outside data source, like MySQL or PostgreSQL, to Odoo. The fields here will show up based on the query that you input. Here is an example of the structure of the query that you can input. Next, I'll input the query I want and delete the example query. Click Save. The fields that you selected in the query will automatically show up. You'll be able to select fields and join other tables as well with this query. The Analysis tab is empty because no analysis has been done with this table yet. Now to create the analysis, the next step is to click on the data, then analysis, then create. Write your analysis name and choose the data source. If I choose the data source I made previously, which is Odoo Database, the table that shows up is the Odoo Database table. If I change the data source to Odoo, the tables that show up would be different. These are the tables made for the data source Odoo. Here I'll choose Odoo Database as the data source and Odoo Database table as the table. In the Metrics tab, I can choose the fields that I created previously with the query. Same with the Dimensions tab. So first I'll click Add a Line and select Name as the field for the dimension. Then in Metrics, I'll choose ID Account. The calculation can be Sum, Count, or Average. I'll choose Count for this. Then I can sort the data, whether I want it to be ascending, descending, or none. You can sort with the dimension as well. It's important to note that sorting will prioritize dimension over metric. So if I sort descending for the dimension and ascending for the metric, the descending dimension data will take precedence over the ascending metric data. In this case though, I will leave the sort blank for the dimension field. Then click Save. I'll be able to view my analysis by clicking on Analytic, then select Analysis. I can see the analysis I just created here. Odoo Database Analysis. You can change the calculation from here as well. Here, I'll change to sum, but you can also change it to average or back to count. You can edit the visual and click Save Visual. Changing the sorting can be done here. I'll change it to descending. Now, if I go back to Data, then Analysis, and find the analysis I created, you can see that the calculation has changed to sum and the sort to descending because I have changed it from the analytic menu. Therefore, the data will be updated automatically. And that is all for this video on creating a data source, table, and analysis in the back end of the Easy Analytics dashboard. Thank you for watching and have a great day!